Hey everybody, this is Mark Van De I haven't done a video in a while, but I was breadboarding something that I was trying to understand and uh, still not quite sure I've got 100% understanding of what's going on, but uh, I thought I'd show you. So I have a breadboard with a power supply at one end here. And what I've been trying to experiment with is having an Arduino circuit or some other microcontroller circuit that was able to switch itself off. So the idea is that it would have basically no current draw when uh, when you are completely disconnected from the system, but that uh, but that when you pushed a button, it would power on for a while, then the Arduino would be able to turn itself off and have no current draw afterwards. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but anyway, I'll tell you what I've done. So uh, instead of an Arduino, I'm just using a small AT Tiny uh, 85 here. And in reality, I should actually have a, uh, a decoupling cap in here, but I haven't put one in. There's two resistors attached to two pins, pin zero and one. These drive two LEDs. Uh, and so power comes in from the rail at the top, enters the pin, comes out at the bottom. And one of the ways you could power this is through this white wire would go to this pin. And so when you push this, it will start blinking SOS with the LED. All right. So that will continue on. Now, the other pin, pin one, which is this leftmost LED, you can see that it wasn't on when it first started. But after that, it does allow, it does turn on. So the idea is it runs through, and at the end of one iteration, basically, it would turn itself off. So normally the program would just loop sending SOS over and over. But at the bottom of the loop, it actually tells this pin to go low, which actually turns the LED on, because these are powered positive on the positive side. Um, which may actually be part of my problem now that I'm thinking about it. But uh, the idea of that is that the, that pin also, via this long green wire whose presence is near this screen, goes into the gate of this MOSFET switch. So this is an N-mode MOSFET, um, which, is, which draws uh, via this green wire. Again, I'm not color coding things very well. I just pulled stuff out of my thing. So this is also grounded, which is also um, the ground from the chip also flows through the MOSFET and then to the ground. So the source goes to this, the drain goes to the ground of the other pin, right? And, and then the gate is controlled through this resistor to, uh, to pin one of the microcontroller. Anyway, the idea is, is that when this thing wakes up, the first thing it does is it turns that pin high to drive the gate high. And that keeps the switch open so that it'll complete one iteration of this. But when it goes down, it turns off. But the problem is that I see is slightly disturbing me is, as you can tell, there's a very faint... Uh, sorry, this is getting in my way. The LED is actually glowing. It's not glowing very brightly. It's kind of misleading. But there is obviously some current. So it's... And it comes on kind of late. So it's like there's some stray capacitance that's charging up and when it finally reaches some level, now is it not doing it at all? Oh, that's weird. Now it's all of a sudden stopped. Oh, that's so weird. You can see it flash when it actually goes low because that turns itself off. Hmm, I'll have to think about this. Now it's not doing it. It's weird. It was doing it fine before. Da, 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 da. Turns itself off. Well, maybe everything is working just as perfectly as can be imagined. Or maybe I just had a... Oh, see, there it goes again. Okay, so I'm not totally high. There's some weird situation in which there's still some low-level amount of current being drawn through this LED, which is obviously not what I wanted it to happen. Now, in reality, this LED wouldn't exist in the real system, but it does imply that there's some current running, some ground loop. I'll have to think this out. Anyway, this has been my experiment for the day. I'm having fun. I'll talk to you all later.